Hello. Today we will tell you about the system of curtain wall maintenance at the Federation Tower. The specialist of the hoist maintenance operation department, Vitaly Korn, will help us understand the principles of its operation. Please meet the integrated system Cox Gommel Vitaly. What could you tell us about it? This system is used for cleaning our facade glass units and naturally for replacing damaged window units. This equipment is used just for those purposes. It is installed on the 48th floor and from that level the cradle which is installed on rails and which serves two curtain walls out of the three of our building can be extended beyond the perimeter of the tower and moved down. The vernacular name for this integrated system is steam engine because it actually moves along rails. It has a cradle for workers and a lifting hook for lifting the cradle and for mounting glass units. The workers dismount the damaged unit into the cradle and replace it with a new double pane unit and install it. This system is very sophisticated and has many levels of safety protection like derailment control and control of the cradle and arm movement. The cradle can be positioned exactly where the work is needed, along the rails. It's a very reliable system. That's practically all. Tell us how this system extends beyond the building perimeter for curtain wall maintenance. The facade at this level is divided into hinged window panes and fixed curtain wall panels. The hinged windows open fully, there are no crossbars, and thus provide full access to the tower facade. It's very convenient. Next come the rails. And both ends of the curtain walls there are entrance windows which allow extending the cradle with the workers beyond the curtain wall perimeter. And after that they can be moved across the curtain wall. The Cox system is controlled from the cradle and from this switchboard. Here is the control system. The operator communicates with the workers at the cradle by means of telephone. Above is the control system for uh, rotating the arm, lifting the cradle and moving the system across the entire curtain wall. Uh, 
самой стрелы, то есть вот, сама вот эта вот балка, стрела может поворачиваться. И даже можно, здесь же управляется движение всей системы по рельсам, по горизонтали, то есть вдоль фасада. The engines that move the system along the rails are installed here at the bottom. Uh, the derailment control system is also mounted there. All the control switches are also available uh, in the cradle. So, if they need emergency stops or anything, it can be communicated through the telephone. Following safety regulations, workers in the cradle are attached to the bracket assembly with safety belts. Now, for the downward movement, there are fixtures for fixing the ropes to the curtain wall of the building every 10 to 12 meters to prevent the cradle rocking due to the wind. These fixtures are inserted into special grooves on the building curtain wall. When moving back upward, a button is pressed and off they go. Also, there is a safety system that allows one to move the cradle down in emergencies like power outages. Workers in the cradle call the operator who, who puts the cradle down to the ground, ground level by means of the hand operating unlocking mechanism. There is also a glass unit safety system. These are rubber rollers, which, when the cradle is moving down, are in this position. And by horizontal movement, the rollers are rotated and locked down with a bolt, which, uh, so the, which has a safety pin. That's not easy. Also, so the cradle can move to the left or to the right. So for cleaning or for replacing damaged units, uh, there are also suction cups, additional cups for fixing the cradle to the facade. Uh, okay, to extend the cradle beyond the perimeter, there are doors like this that open inward by means of pneumatic cylinders. So through this door you can park your cradle back and move it out as well. N nearby there's another door like this one. It is designed for extending the cradle which serves the other side of the curtain wall. So it is attached to the system installed on the roof. The ropes поднимается люлька и точно так же паркуется обратно вся эта система. Вот. Когда заканчивается... So the ropes go down from the top and here they are attached to the cradle. When all the work is done, the whole system is parked back here. Дальше троса убираются наверх, вытягиваются и осуществляется именно окончательная парковка механизма. So again, that's another control unit for parking the cradle and rotating the platform.
So th this is the Cradle Extension Control Panel. All this, these buttons control various maneuvers. And this is the control unit for opening the hinge windows and doors on the curtain wall. For safety purposes, the system has locking levers. If they are unlocked, the system can be maneuvered manually.